I feel inspired. Hey guys. Yes, inspired I was. And I set about what for me was quite an ambitious ring design. I really enjoyed this Space Marine ring that I made and I found the fitting very comfortable. So I stripped away the top in ZBrush, leaving myself a blank canvas. I had a vague idea what I wanted to do, but no actual plan. And working on a whim, I began by adding a chin area. Now you've seen me move the virtual clay around before by pushing and pulling on it. Well, in this build, I was actually drawing something into existence using clay tubes. These are fine layers of clay. I really struggled with the face, so I won't bore you too much with that, as it took so long. To me, it was the most important thing to get right, and I drew and deleted it a dozen times, until it started to feel right. So don't get attached to anything that you see here. Eventually it began to feel better. Still not perfect, but better. It was enough for me to start working on what I wanted to be, an elaborate pre-Columbian headdress. Again, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I was just winging it. Things changed a fair bit as I worked my way through. But that's the beauty of CAD work. What you don't like, you can quickly change. All without getting real clay under your fingernails. It was just starting to feel sort of Aztec or Inca to me when my wife walked by and said, Is that Mayan? I told her no, it wasn't. And if she wanted one, she could make her own. It's important to mention at this point that the jokes don't actually get any better than that. I wanted to add snakes to the headdress because, well, I like snakes. The problem is, I didn't want realism, as this sort of artwork is somewhat simplified. But I didn't like the way snakes are usually depicted on old temples either. So I just did my own thing. Please don't expect an historically accurate piece here. This is, at best, Aztec-ish. Eventually, I reached a point where I felt I'd done enough. It's often hard to know when to stop, but luckily, I have a wife that shouts at me when there's other things that need doing. I printed the design using my Frozen Sonic 4K and the Soriatek cast resin. It seemed to come out well, but it's not always easy to be sure with this shade of purple.
Last time, I made these small weights to help overcome the buoyancy of this resin. These worked fine, but I fancied making something larger. Here, I'm simply bending a 2mm wax sprue into a crudely horseshoe shape. It's easy and should make an effective small weight. Initially, at least, the casting looked good. Ah, a slight dent on the cheek. Shame. I considered adding liver of sulphur to darken the recesses, but things were going well so I decided to stick with a polished surface instead. These weights came out nicely. I'll be putting these to good use. But the ring? Well, I'm really pleased with this. The details really shine through. I'm genuinely beginning to enjoy using ZBrush now, and thanks to Sorionetech Cast, I'm able to cast what I'm sculpting. And I was even able to buff away most of the imperfections on the cheek. As usual these days, I'll be making this STL file available to my patrons, with my thanks for their kind support. Now, I know I created this ring in ZBrush, guys, and I know it isn't free. But remember, ZBrush Core Mini is free. And you can use it to do just about everything you've seen me do here. And yes, the ZBJW course I reviewed, which was good enough to teach me, an absolute beginner, to have the confidence to produce works like this, is also not free. But again, they do have some excellent free tutorials you can look at. So give ZBrush a try. I'll place links in the description to help you get started. Anyway, I hope I've inspired you to give it a go. So take care guys, and thanks for watching.